guys, what is up? It is your girl Simsyverse coming at you with my first video ever. So for today's brand new video, we are going to be starting the original cult classic Legacy Challenge in The Sims 4. So most of you probably know what the Legacy Challenge is, so I'm not going to go over the rules pretty much, and there aren't really that many rules anyways we can kind of go with the flow and kind of see what happens so let me just start out by introducing you to our first ever legacy heir this is audrey hampton ah. so we're going to be starting out with her i don't really have a plan for audrey we're just going to kind of see what plays out and what kind of happens throughout her life and the continuing 10 generations that we will hopefully hopefully get to that is my plan because i have created so many legacy challenges and I never finish any of them. I don't know if that's the same with you guys, but even with any challenges, I start them and I don't finish them. So hopefully now that we're making videos and we're putting our stories out there, we can kind of stick to it and we'll go from there and see what happens. So hmm. let me just introduce you to Audrey. So obviously she is a young adult she wants to have a successful lineage, so she wants all of her kids to be successful and have like a really just good, strong family. And that gives her uh -huh. the domestic trait. We're also going to have her be creative. She is a perfectionist and she is also outgoing. So one thing I do know for sure of what I want to do with Audrey is I really want her to be I, I want her to be a florist so I know with seasons it came with that like florist career which we will be joining at some point but I also want to get her to like make the different bouquets and like the floral arrangements and sell them ah. and maybe eventually have like her own like floral boutique or little like flower shop where she can sell this stuff for um, so that'll kind of be like an extra challenge as well. So we'll kind of be playing with like the whole retail store aspect, which I think will be really, really fun. So let's just kind of go through here and I'll show you guys her outfit. So this is her every day. So with the legacy challenge, we are pretty much starting out with absolutely nothing. Bare, big old, bare, empty lot, no house, literally nothing but the clothes on our back. So, and then we're allowed to have $1,800 to start out. So I'll probably put that into making at least some sort of small little house or shelter for her to be in. Otherwise, with seasons, weather is going to get cray and it's just going to be a mess. So that is Audrey for the most part. She basically just wants to have like a good successful family and really, you know, raise some amazing kids and have a good supportive husband who is supportive of her dreams of being like this amazing talented florist. Even though as of right now, she has literally no idea about floral arrangement or flowers, gardening, nothing. This has just been an idea in her head for like her whole entire life. And now she just wants to kind of throw it into play. And let's hope for the best that it really works out for her. Okay, so we have the $1,800. Let's just try to build like a little shack type dealio. And see what that kind of does for us with the amount of money that we have. I don't think we're going to get very far. But if we could at least get like a bed and like a shower and like maybe a toilet for her to use, that would be like perfect. Okay, so now that we literally have $10 left to our name, we need to kind of search around here and see what kind of flowers we have that we can plant. Not plant. Oh my gosh. Um, what flowers or just plants in general? Well, maybe we should just stick to flowers. No, since, yeah, we're just going to stick to flowers just because she wants to go into the florist career. But we'll start doing some, like, collectibles, too, just so um, we can at least kind of earn some money. 
None of these flowers are going to be ready yet. So what do we have over here? That's a pear tree. We don't really want to do any like fruits or anything. Maybe we'll have to look for some frogs. Oh, is this our mailbox that's way over here? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. This lot is huge. Oh yeah, and also, so we're starting in, where are we? Willow Creek? Yeah, so we're in Willow Creek. I really wanted to do Newcrest, but the lot size wasn't quite what we needed it to be. So we're just going to do um, Willow Creek, and that's just going to be what it's going to be. Okay, we have another collectible over here. Do we have any more? Mm, what is this plant? Snapdragons. Perfect. Definitely are going to need some of those. Okay, we have another collectible over here. Some lilies that we're going to wait for those to be ready to be harvested. Oh, who is this? Is that a celebrity that's just like roaming around? Brittany Cho. Just cruising around the neighborhood. Okay. Oh, what kind of flowers? Anything over here good? No, it's that pear tree again. I'm just like a random lemonade stand that's actually really cute. I haven't seen any of those like pop up before. We got some basil. Oh, there's another collectible right here. Then I think that might be it for the collectibles that are in this area, at least like by our land slash little house, whatever you want to call it. It's not really a house. We don't even have a kitchen yet. And then we'll see what kind of things we have all collected so far. She seems really excited about it. And it's a capsule. Ooh, who is this? Joel Condor. Okay, so we have two capsules. A sapphire, which is worth $18, or 18 simoleons. We have a emerald that is worth 24 simoleons. And then an eggplant frog, only worth 10. But mm. I'm going to hang on to the frogs. We might be able to find some more and then breed. But let's sell um, all of this stuff. And then we'll just kind of wait on the frog. And then let's kind of go around a little bit. I want to do one more double check for like any more collectibles that we may have missed, which we did over here. Okay, I think that's going to be our last one, and then we will go check out the neighborhood and the town and see what else we can kind of what else we can find out there? Maybe we can come across like a, ooh, a treasure map. I know that's worth $80, but we could, let's dig this little thing up here and see what that does. Another time capsule. Okay, either way that's worth $70, I believe. Yeah, so that's still pretty decent, but let's go see Let's go to the park and we'll kind of see what's hanging out over there, who we can meet, what we can find. Because my main agenda right now is to at least get some flowers planted in our yard. And I want to get one of those like sale table things so we can do like a little yard sale, at least just to start. So I know it's going to be a while before we can... 
before we can get like an actual storefront built because that is going to be real expensive and I'm really hoping that it's going to help provide like a good stable income. And then we'll work on getting her into that florist career as well. But first, let's see if we have any collectibles anywhere around here in the park or any flowers that we can harvest. From what I can tell, I'm not finding anything. I mean, we could rummage through the trash, but... We are not quite at that point yet. We are not quite there. I'm wondering too, we have a hundred dollars. We could always buy some like starter flowers. Ooh, there's frogs. Let's look for the frogs. Let's see what we got going on with the frogs. Try to breed those a little bit. And then let's see, ooh, a sunflower frog. A set of a flog, what is a flog? Sunflower frog. So, okay, so if we breed that one with the eggplant frog, maybe we'll get like a breed that's worth more money. But we just got another eggplant frog that's worth just 10 simoleons. And then we have some more lilies over here, but of course those aren't ready to be harvested. But we do have a collectible. So let's go ahead and dig for treasure. Let's use the map and see if that kind of gives us anything better. That'll be worth like a decent amount of simoleons. Oh, there's a shop right here. Okay, so that's just like another lemonade stand, I think. Okay, did we find anything good? Literally a time capsule when we could have sold that treasure map for $80. We could have sold that treasure chest for 80 simoleons, but we wasted it. Okay, so we got another treasure map. This one we're not going to do anything with. We are just going to sell it get rid of it, maybe hang on to it. I don't know yet. I don't know what we're going to do. But for the most part, it's getting a little bit later in the late afternoon, early evening. Let's see what kind of frogs we got in here. We have a couple more collectibles. We'll dig those up. Not really seeing anything else that is potentially worth anything in this area. None of the plants are ready to be harvested yet. Oh, we have one more collectible here. And she's getting hungry, so we're gonna need to find uh, there, there's grills here, so we can have her grill up some food before we go. Because I'm not really, you know, there's not really any rules about using grills around Tatterdall. Because technically, like, we're not doing ranks to riches or anything. It's just legacy. So we just have to build up from nothing and kind of go from there. Another sunflower frog. Can we breed two sunflower frogs? Probably not. That would probably get us another one. Which really wouldn't be too pointless because they're worth 30. Oh, we did get some foes though that's only worth 15. So this is our last collectible, so let's grill up some food. Let's just do something cheap. So let's just do some hot dogs. That's about the cheapest that we're gonna get. And then maybe let's sell some of this stuff and then maybe we'll have enough to get like a fridge. That way we can at least like store some food in. Cause I wanna be able to take these hot dogs home with us.
Okay, so let's breed these two sunflower frogs. So now we have three of those, so that's perfect. So that's 90 simoleons. And then we'll sell all of these. Okay, so we have about almost 700 simoleons. So that'll get us at least a decent fridge to store food in. So let's just actually put it in your inventory and then we'll eat at home. Because then I want to be able to buy some like starter plants as well. Okay, so let's get a fridge. Okay, so we can do one for, mm, let's do a cheap, so let's do 215, we'll go, let's go with the blue one, because why not, throw that in there, and then, I think, let's move the mailbox, because the mailbox being way over here, like, that is a long journey, just to get the dang mail, if you know what I mean. And then let's use our phone. Ooh, can we even? Oh, honestly, I don't even know if we can even purchase starter seeds. We may need to. Okay, we're going to do this. I think we need to get a planter box. We'll get one that's small and round and then we'll just like resell it anyways. Cause I don't really want to put any of the flowers in like a pot right now. Cause that's kind of just like a waste. We gotta play this smart. We gotta play this really smart. Cause the quicker we can kind of get going, the quicker we can, you know, start a family. Oh, starter flowers are only 35. Why did I think they were a hundred? Okay, so let's get Three of those, we'll just keep our budget at 100. We're gonna go over budget a little bit, but that's fine. And then we will sell this right away. Can I put this in my inventory? No. So we'll just go and sell that again right away. Or put it in my inventory, whichever. No, we're gonna sell it, get our money back. And, you know, we're gonna have to be careful too because not all plants are in every season and we're in summer right now I decided to start out easy especially now that we have seasons okay so we have six daisies three chrysanthemums oh we just got more daisies okay so let's at least plant Okay, so we'll do six daisies and then six chrysanthemums to start out. And I actually wonder, are we going to have enough money? Because so we have 350 simoleons left. I wonder if we can even afford like a floral table. But we can see. So let's go to activities and skills why is nothing popping up there we go okay oh we actually can it's only 250 dollars that's actually not bad at all but then it is going to cost us money to be able to actually make the bouquets as well, or like the floral arrangements. I know depending, yeah, so if we make an arrangement, if we do bluebells, yeah, so it's gonna cost us some money to actually make the arrangements, but if we use fresh ingredients, it's gonna be cheaper, I would assume. 
So when she's done using the bathroom, oh no! These are only they're only in season in the spring, so I don't even know if these are gonna work. But the chrysanthemums are summer and fall, so those will at least produce something for us, I hope. Otherwise, these daisies, we are just going to have to wait for a really long time to get any daisies out of here. Okay, so she's a hot mess. She needs a shower. And then she needs some food. Yeah, chrysanthemums. Yeah, so our daisies are out of season. That's a huge bummer. Do we have any other, are these flowers in this area going to be ready anytime soon? Snapdragons I don't think are going to be in season. Because it doesn't even say, it's just like dirt pile right now. Yeah, literally nothing is going to be ready soon. Oh, wait a minute. We might be able to come and get some of these lilies, definitely. Yep, so the lilies are ready. I think we maybe have some lilies that were a little bit closer. It's so cloudy out, which is making it really hard for her to see. Mm. Mm. Okay, so when she's done with her shower, mm, she needs some fun. <laughs> she needs to chit chat with some people. <laughs> she also really needs to eat too. Oh, did I never put those hot dogs in the fridge? I should have done that. And they're spoiled. Oh, dang it. And we don't even have a garbage, so we'll just put those out there for now. But get a quick meal. Just eat a ham sandwich for the time being. That'll be fine. Okay, we'll just get all these plants watered, otherwise they're just going to die on us. And we cannot start out with this career with some dead plants. Ah. Okay, so maybe, oh yeah. Okay, so we gotta go find those lilies again because those were definitely ready to be harvested. And we can plant those really quick too. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and have her join the, the floral career. So I'm pretty sure that is an option. Okay, so let's go ahead and find a job. And I want to say it's in the gardener. Yes, so the career branches are a botanist or botanist, whichever way you want to say it, and then floral designer. So we're just going to start as a regular gardener and we're going to work our way up from there and see if that helps us at all. So it's $20 an hour. Purchase garden seeds. So that's our work from home assignment. Okay. 
So we have to purchase some garden seeds, which we'll go find, we'll just go find a computer to do that. And then we have to achieve level two of the gardening skills. So let's go out into the town anyways. We'll go hit up the library. Oh, so Marcus Flex is here. And our librarian, Mariko, she's here as well. So let's just go ahead. Let's go do those seeds right away. <laughs> Order seeds. And we're only going to stick two flowers. So we're going to do again with the starter flowers. Let's just do one. So we only have 96 simoleons. Ouch. We'll see what that kind of gives us. Oh, we got more chrysanthemums and more daisies. So the daisies we're not even going to even worry about planting because we still have three whole seasons to go through. Woo! Oh, and that's like another thing too. I want to play with a little bit of like longer seasons. So let's... Oh, I already have them set. Never mind. I like playing with two weeks per season because it stretches it out a little bit longer, makes it a little bit more fun. <laughs> but let's get her. Introduce yourself to Mariko. Because Audrey needs some friends. She needs some people to socialize with. Otherwise, she is going to be very sad all the time. And we're not about that life. So let's ask her about her day, see what she's up to. Uh, corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. How is the librarian uh, life treating you? Have you been having a good day at work? Oh, Apparently, oh, yeah. you know, you can just sit on the computer and that's like a pretty cool job, I guess. Huh. Huh. We'll get to know you a little bit. Watch Sergio, Garza. how do you even know me, Sergio? We haven't even met the you BC's yet. Like Who is giving out Kuya. Audrey's phone number? Oh. But we're not going to join the Paragons. That is going to take away a little bit from what we're kind of trying to do here. Huh. We'll talk to her about the cloudy weather. <laughs> such like a conversation killer. Yeah, boy, yeah. Uh, Karu, Karu, Karu. Uh. I feel like talking about the weather is like one of those things that you talk about when you literally have no idea of like what other conversation to have and like things are getting real awkward. Brongi? Dizzy Bobna. Oh, but toy Skiba. <laughs> Ooh, Irene. She's a fan. Who is she a fan of? Let's introduce ourselves. Is there a celebrity here? There has to be if she's a fan, but I'm not seeing anybody. Unless someone is upstairs. Ooh, why is she angry? That's not good. Okay, so who who ticked you off, boo? Let's try to let's try to calm her down. She is really upset. Okay, so she seems to be okay now. I think that works. So let's ask about her day. Let's figure out what the heck. What the heck? Oh my gosh, she's angry again. Maybe she's just like an angry sense. Let's get to know her a little bit. Let's go see what makes her... What makes her brain kind of tick, you know? So she is just stomping around, kind of doing the dang thing. Her cigar for bay? Maranoi! Pack your own limla? Kimbaya! She's a goofball. Frank so really Oh, Bonnie. Jessine. <sighs> Let's give her a compliment. Maybe she just didn't have Bara. anybody like Daba, be nice to oh, her today. So we'll give her a compliment. We'll kind of make her feel good about herself. Brighten her day a little bit. Blish? Hando. Vadish. 
Oh. Kiss on it. Okay, so maybe. Oh, that's oh, pretty much that's enough. Great. Oh my gosh, and this kid is like stomping around too. Pierce Delgado is having a real rough day as well. So, you know, maybe it's just this library. So let's go home. Let's go home. We'll kind of try to get some of our gardening skill up. Maybe start making some floral arrangements just to kind of get our our goal of having a store out there before. I'm pretty sure she has to work tomorrow as well. She does. So work in 16 hours. Oh my gosh, she's off Mondays and Fridays. That is rough. That is a rough work schedule. We probably should buy a garbage can too. Let's go ahead and plant some of these seeds after we just like reorganize them a little bit because this is stressing me out. So let's get all of these, the Chrissy and the Mums over here. And then we can straighten out the lilies. Not the lilies, what are these? The daisies? that are currently not in season, so why we are even bothering waiting on them? Who knows? That can scoot over just a little bit. Okay, how much is the selling table as well? So I wanna say that that comes with Oh, I have literally no idea. Would it be under surfaces, you think? Because it is like a table? I'm not really seeing it anywhere. Oh wait, is this it? Oh, that's just like a portable table for camping. I wouldn't even know like what it's called to even start out with. So let's just go ahead and see. Let's go show all. Filter. I want to say it came with city living. It had to have. We honestly probably just don't have enough money for it, which is going to be really sucky. No, I'm not seeing it in here either. Where am I going to be able to find this merchant table? I wonder if we just look up like merchant table. Or like sale. Oh my gosh, it is literally this one. Mm, well, it's not necessarily that one. Oh, it is from sitting, okay. So it is the street, so it's, it's the street store. And either way, okay, how much money do we need? We need 200 more simoleons. So let's see if we can come up with that like super, super quick. So let's go ahead. Let's plant some of these lilies. Because the lilies are actually worth a decent amount of money. And then we're going to sell the rest of this stuff. We have enough chrysanthemums planted. We have enough daisies planted. Then we just need like a hundred more dollars. Then we can get our table. And then we can start having yard sales. Homegirl is going to pee herself really quick here. Okay, so that gave us another $144, $144 simoleons, and this is another 70. So perfect, we have enough for the table now, which is awesome. 
So let's go ahead and get that. Okay, so here we are. Here is our street store. So let's just go ahead and place that. Ooh, why can't we place that here? Okay, so let's place that right there. And we are down to 181 simoleons. And then we're going to have her get some food and then get some sleep because she starts work. Okay, apparently she was going to get sleep first. Because she's going to start work first thing in the morning. But she only works till 3, so maybe that'll give us some time when she gets back from work and we can go ahead and get some floral arrangements made <laughs> and maybe have a little yard sale. I think that would be super, super fun. Alright, so it is the next day. Oh, we actually have the option to work from home, too. Ooh, that's a good one. Actually, we're going to send her... Hmm. Actually, if we have the option to work from home, let's just do it, because then we can, you know, work on our floral arrangements, too. But we need to read a gardening book. So that's our work from home task. So maybe we should get a bookshelf? But let's be honest, we have until tomorrow morning technically to do that, so let's go ahead, let's shower. But alright you guys, that is going to be it for the first episode of this Legacy Challenge. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. I feel like we did a pretty good job at at least getting started. And now in the next episode, we can continue on in getting her first day of work started and having our first yard sale, which I think is going to be so, so fun. So thank you so much again, you guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.